Dear Journal, I'm in search of an elf woman who tried to steal Damien. In the meantime, we're advancing towards solitude and advancing the Thieves' Guild to further riches. The Legionnaires seem to be deserting. And what is Sidnu? I don't know what it means. First of all, I don't know why last time I felt the need to cut before I turned the quest into Ulfred Battleborn. I blame Night Shift. Anyway. I hope the Empire is sending reinforcements to drive these heathens out of White Run. Well, I got news for you, buddy. Arn should be safe now. Arn? Never heard of him. <laughs> Wink. I guess that means you're finished. Here's your payment. Tell Delvin that he has my support and all the weight it carries in White Run from now on. I think he'll be quite pleased. Ulfred sent ahead his compliments. Looks like his friend Arn is soon to be released, thanks to his brand new identity. More importantly, he's pledged the full support of the Battleborn clan to the Thieves' Guild. We're still growing by leaps and bounds, thanks to you. More of a grey man guy myself. I only got the two left. Glad I don't have Sunhelm turned on right now. So basically stealth solves all problems in this game. Want to leave the Stormcloaks? Stealth. Want to find the Mage Pages? Sneak up on them and stab them in the back before they can cast magic on you. And obviously the Thieves Guild stealth. Because that's what thieves do. He's just a prisoner. Looks like somebody already beat me to it. Speak quickly. Huh? Dang, I thought that was a treasure chest for a second. Ah, dang, he fell in the water. Oh well. Okay, last one. In my mind, this restoration guy has buffed them up because how did they see me? And they're very strong. Oh shit, it's guitar. You want to die, don't you? Do they even try? What? Ready to go? Oh, I know. Follower goes on a trip, Skyrim Special Edition. 
I just randomly ran into her. That rest dog had a lot of strong followers, and I'm pretty sure that guard is dead. You all right? Katana, I've met you like once, but I could kiss you. You saved my ass. Say, have you heard anything from Sir Ket? No. Damn, we'll see you later. Thanks again. Huh, Dre Loft the unending. That's a terrible nickname. Need something? Greetings. I know it's been a few months, but I got all the pages for you. This does not seem to be the right page. Be careful with illusion mages. Things are not always what they seem. Uh, I knew that fisherman was too good to be true. Honestly, why would you hide in the same place the second time? I would be long gone by now. Well, I can't see you to aim, so... Let's light this up. Luckily, I think some new bandits took up residence here, and they're not friendly with him. Luckily, I've still got a room here. Greetings. Okay, this time it's real. I hope. Fantastic. Although I will have to verify if the text is real. One can never be too careful with an illusionist. I will have Urog get on rebinding the books immediately. In the meantime, I offer you this staff as a reward for your service. It has no celebrated history. However, not all things powerful require such affectations, nor do they deprive you of the experience you have earned. Our business, however, is suspended for now. Although I may need your assistance once more in the future, let me again offer my sincerest thanks on behalf of all mages not just myself and Jado Ra. The knowledge extracted from these texts may lead to great discoveries and new frontiers. That was kind of anticlimactic, but I think there are more later. You're a traveler, correct? Have you been to Whiterun? Yeah, I go there often. Wonderful. I hadn't really hoped to run into someone who'd been there. My daughter, Fura, was assigned to Whiterun after she joined the Imperial Army. Wait a minute. Fura? Uh, probably just a coincidence. I was hoping you might have met her. I haven't heard from her lately. I've tried talking to Captain Aldous, but he hasn't been any help. Haven't seen her, but I'll keep an eye out. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Anything you can find out from Captain Aldous would be welcome news. Now what I came here for. I never said Destana was a good person. She helps people, but she also robs them. Kind of like a Sour Patch Kid. Sour and sweet. I did a few jobs off screen, and now I'm ready for the Solitude special job. Good job. Now, here's your part of the deal. I don't know what you're made of, but I've never seen anyone tackle this many jobs without ending up dead or in jail. 
We got half of Skyrim back on rolling, and the coin started to flow. There, if you're ready, I've got another special job for you. Hell yeah. I need you to make your way to Solitude and talk to Erica. He's looking to run some kind of a shield job. Now, he's not exactly going to welcome you with open arms, but keep you cool. Do this job right, and we've just made an important friend out there. This kind of work suits you, but it's going to end up making you rich. If you don't watch it, I may actually start to respect you. Face Sculptor Expanded. Another banger from Jay Serpa. Good, good. Let's see what we can do. Now, tell me what you desire. Just do whatever it takes. Oh, you're back? I suppose you'll be wanting your pay then. Didn't muck it up, I hear. Good. Here's your share. What did you do? What was that? And with no strings attached. Not bad. Here, got some coin for you. Excellent. Oh, you're back? I suppose you'll be wanting your pay then. Wow, everything is very purpley. How fortuitous. Well, if it isn't the bully that goes around hurting people. Never even seen you before. I'm from the guild. About time you got here. Polite too. I'm not accustomed to dealing with people who are unreliable. That's why I asked Delvin to send me his best. I personally hate this guy, but I can't really tell you why Destana does. Let's just get to work. That's more like it. Nothing raises my ire more than having an agreement broken. It's bad for business, and it wastes time. Captain Volf of the Dainty Slode has decided to test my patience on this matter by neglecting to honor a trade agreement we had established. Guess this is where I enter the picture. I need you to help me show him the error of his ways by sneaking on board the Slode and planting some contraband. You'll need to get your hands on some Belmora Blue from Sabine Niet down by the docks. She's the first mate on another ship, the Red Wave. Once you get your hands on it, I want you to plant it in Captain Balf's footlocker. I'll take care of the rest. Captain Volf is ashore right now, and I want the authorities waiting for him when he gets back. Now get going. I don't want to see your face until the job's done. You reek! A little friendly advice. Take a bath and get some new clothes. Rude. I bathe more often than most people in this dung heap. Trying to buy Belmora Blue. Well then, you're talking to the right person. I'm the only one left in Tamriel that can get my hands on it. It's damn near impossible to find anymore. You want to buy it off of me? Dang, look at that animated ship in the background. The mod spotlight for this episode is going to be long. Is there any other way to earn it? Wink wink. I'm afraid not. How else can a poor, overworked sailor like myself expect to earn a living? All right, fine. Good. Here, take this key. The Balmora Blue is locked in a chest under the docks near the Red Wave. Hope you like getting wet. I sure do. Oh shit. Come on. Wow, I did not expect that. So I got a new mod, Mahel's Better Mimics, which gives a chance using base object swapper to have all chests be mimics. Future me note, I look back and realize the reason of the purple textures was because I had an old version of base object swapper. And also before I fixed it, it made all chests be mimics, which was pretty terrifying. 
We're not alone. Time to end this game. Like a sack of potatoes. Well, uh, I guess that is to be expected. Someday, I'll be a gallant heroine. You make it look so... Maybe you need a partner, hmm? Just picture it. Two women, the dusty road, strapping men at every tavern, a fortune in gold to be claimed. I mean, yeah, you're speaking my language. I don't even know who this woman is. Apparently she's the maid at the Blue Palace and barely has a story at all. Sibyl Stentor has a grasp of magical theory that I would never have expected from a human, even a Breton. Well, because she's a vampire. She's had time to study. I understand what's best for solitude, and Jarl Elisif knows it. I've planted the contraband. Yes, I know. In fact, by now, Captain Wolf should be on his way to the prisons. Our contract is complete. Here's a token of my gratitude for your efforts. Incidentally, I would tell the authorities not to check the chest by the door. Those sailors got more of a haul than they bargained for. Oh, convey my compliments to Delvin for me. Tell him I'll be happy to reopen whatever doors he needs in solitude. Damn, another special job already? I want you to head out to Markov and speak to Endon. He's a silversmith. He has some kind of shop there. His father was a good friend of the guild back in the day, and we could really use his family's influence back on our side. Erica assures me that Captain Wolf will spend pretty much the rest of his life clapped in irons. Best of all, he's also pledged to open doors for us in solitude and to get things rolling again. Success means the guild is getting stronger. We've picked up another merchant and a new recruit. Being a thief, it's like a second skin for you, ain't it? Yeah. Thank you for your custom. Now get out of my way. But finally, walking to the city of free man, I can hardly believe it. Jeez, why are these dragons attacking in pairs now? Maybe there's enough of them that got slain that uh, Alderman told them to use the buddy system. Suck it, nerd. Oh my god, would you just land or go away, you big bitch? should take your march. It'll be an important pressure point on the Imperials. We'd be within spitting distance of the capital. Yes, sir, sir, de, sir, sir, sir. Here's another time when my days are kind of out of whack. It's still the 20th, and the time of day kind of works. But this is with Open Civil War, where I actually take Morthal, instead of just a random fort. Ready to hit Morthal? We've beat around the bush enough. What do you say? Can you do this? Hell yeah, brother! Excellent. 
Put the fear of the Nine into those motherless dogs. I even brought my boys this time. Yes, we will fight side by side again. A calm spirit provides the best counsel. See if I can make the odds a little better before we start. Ooh, a Nord Bliss with a voice, huh? And even more boys with big weapons. Seems like they got their A team here, unlike the last few fights. Random horse. Come on, stop with the shield. your commanders you have won. I, my family, and my men will be gone before they arrive. There is no point in further talk. Go now. Good job. Ufric was right about you. Imperial I'm glad to have you with us. From there we had one more target. You're going to Fort Snowhawk. You've got real fire in you. I like that. Talos guide you. And I only relate this because of the surprising interference. Vampires? Oh my god, was that a dragon? I see a ghost and necromancers. Oh my god, the fucking Thalmer are here. Courtesy of no ring. This is like a five-way battle. I think the dragon just peaced out.
Hey, Ulfric, wake up. How about a little post-victory reward like we usually do? Tolius must be getting nervous. Taking Hell March, we're practically in his backyard now. As soon as we're able, we'll march on Solitude. You've become a true hero of Skyrim. I number you among my kin. You shall now be known as Stormblade. The love of the land and her people flows from your heart. Even as death to her enemies flows from your hands. On behalf of the sons and daughters of Skyrim, on behalf of all that is righteous and true, take this token of our appreciation for your service. We're about ready to take solitude now. You have no time to glory in your accomplishments. I need you there. Report to our camp in Hoffinger. All right, guys. This is the big job. The end game of what I hired you for. We're taking solitude tomorrow. I've suited you up with the best upgrades I could find. You can keep them, by the way. Galmar and Ulfric seem to think it's going to be a cakewalk. Seeing as how the last month the Empire has folded in Skyrim, they could be right. I have to wonder why, though. Meet up at the Hoffingar camp north of Dragon Bridge. Katana, I'm surprised you showed. Well, I guess if the pay is good enough. Oh. Rayloff, you big Nord bastard! You made it! You're still alive. I have to admit, this is more fun than I thought it'd be. Check out my new armor. Damn, looking good. I mean, polish a turd enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy! An enemy approaches. What the hell is a traitor to Skyrim doing here? Wait, I come in peace. Like hell, you chose the wrong day to get lost, old friend. Hold on, let's see what he wants. If he steps out of line, I'll snap him like a twig. All right, because I know you can. Out with it. What do you want? Solitude has three layers of defense. The front gate inside the wall and the castle dower wall. There's a back way, but I've got a man on the inside who'll open the main gate. Yeah, I know about it. Why are you telling us this? Why do this? What do you want? Aren't you almost a legate? I want nothing. I had a change of heart. Clearly, the people of Skyrim don't want to be ruled. If only one man's downfall can turn so many against the Empire. Just a chant. Just an idea can turn them. It turned me. He was my friend. One man? Who are you talking about? What? You haven't heard? You were his friend, weren't you? What are you talking about? Circuit. He was arrested for helping you. What? He escaped. But a pair of bounty hunters killed him on the road. Returned with his armor and hammer. Sid knew Circuit did nothing wrong. They fucking what? 